there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these lacy autumn seed beads earrings they are easy and I'm showing them step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself consider subscribing with the bell also liking sharing and commenting in this way you motivate me to make more and more similar tutorials like this one you might also want to support me as members and this comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 ounce seed beads, light green, white, yellow, orange and red. Here I'm using earring findings, liver bags. This is nylon thread that is from Spark Beads. You could use other of your choice or Fireline or your favorite thread. I'm using here size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size of needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up green beads. And I want to pick up 33 green beads, but because it is a long process, I'll pick them up and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have 33 beads. I double check here I have 8 times 4, which is 32 plus 1, 33. I always like to double check. And what I'm going to do next is to slide all of those down. And how I make my knot. I'm taking here my tail thread and I'm going twice like this, making a loop and going twice to create my knot. Then I pull really gently in this direction. Just like this. And then I want to make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. And pull. Okay, now I have this long circle of beads. It's still not circle. Okay, and what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction. I'm going to take two green beads and I'm going back in circle through these two beads from the center. Okay, you see here I have a loop between these two beads in the center and the newly added one. Once. Okay, this is what I have. Then I go in the next two beads. Again, I take two. I go back through these two and I pull. And I have this. Then I go in the next two. Take two beads and I'm going back through these two and through the following two. If you want to save time, do this in one movement. I mean going through the next two. Now I am directly in a position to add new beads. Okay, I'm taking two. And I'm going backwards through these two and through the following two. So backwards through two and through two more and in this way I'm straight in a position to add the next two. And again I'm going backwards through these two and through the following two and pulling. And that's it guys, I'm going to continue this. And when I'm close to the end, I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, my friends, and here I add one more time two beads. And you see what I have left? I have three beads in the inner circle that are not connected to anything. 
and I will go through the first one of them and I'm going to add just one bead here like this. The next one I'm not going through it, I'm skipping it and I'm going through the following. Why I do this? Because I want to pull and make it because I want to pull and make it pop out like this from this direction. You see, when I go with the thread under it and pull, it creates a small angle here. And here at the next bead that is single, I add just one bead. Okay. This is how I finish this row. Then what I want to do is go here through this green bead. And I'm going to start adding white beads. Okay, I'm taking one white and going through the following two green beads. White go in the next two white next two beads and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay continue like this and I'll meet you here Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. Here I need a yellow bead. I'm going backwards through this green one. Two green beads. Go in the next green. And here add one more yellow going back in circle okay so this is what I have now then I'm going in the next white bead and I take yellow orange yellow and go in the next white yellow orange yellow Go here in the next white and I will continue like these guys connecting the white beads with yellow, orange, yellow. I will continue doing this and I'll meet you at the other end here and I'll tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm adding here my last yellow, orange, yellow. And I'm going like this. Then I take orange, red, orange and I go through the orange and I continue adding orange, red, orange and I will go through the orange beads that are sticking out and again orange, red, orange, go through the orange orange, red, orange, go through the next orange orange, red, orange I continue the same way and I'll do this off camera until the end and when I'm here at the last step I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm adding orange, red, orange and I'm here at my last step and I'm going through the yellow 
Okay. I take five light green beads and I'm going here in this yellow. Okay. And I have this. In my next step, I want to exit out of this red bead. And I'm taking three reds and I'm going here through this orange and through the following red. And I take five red beads and I go in the next red. Five red go in the following red. Five red again. And I'm gonna continue connecting the red beads that are sticking out with five red beads. And I will continue guys absolutely the same way connecting the red beads that are sticking out with five red beads i'll do this off camera and i'll be back for the last step and i'm here guys at my last step where i'm adding five beads from this row now i want to finish this row the same way as it looks here that is why i'm also going through the orange bead and i take three red this time and i'm going here okay now this is what I have. Then in my next step, I want to go through some beads in this direction. Go through the next two. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, guys, is that I will go through all of those beads here. I'm going to take just one yellow bead and as I'm exiting through this red after the orange angle, I will go back in circle through the previous red and through the orange one more time. And I'm pulling. I'm going in the next orange, uh, in the next red, sorry, and through the following two reds as well. And what I do here, guys, is that I skip this central bead and I go through the following three. You see what I do? I don't go through this central red bead. Okay and I pull. Then I go in the next red one and one yellow. Go back through the previous red and through the diangle one and pull. Okay, like this. Then I go in the next two red beads, skip the central of the five that I added in my previous step and go through the next three, including the one at the angle. Okay, you see these beautiful angles that are formed here. Then I go in the next red bead because here I want to attach another yellow and I take this yellow and I go through the one before the angle. I'm doing it back in circle through the one before the angle and through the angle. Okay. Boom. Then again, go in the next two. Skip this central of the five that I added in my previous step and go through the next two and through the angle bit. Okay. 
Then again, go in the next red one, take one yellow, and go back through the previous red and through the one at the angle. And I will continue these guys absolutely the same way until the end. So I'm going here through two beads, I'm skipping the central one and I'm going through two more, more plus the one at the angle. And when I pull, I have this one formed. And then my goal is to attach one yellow bead by going through the one that is after the angle, taking the yellow and going through the one before the angle and the angle itself. And then I will uh, continue doing this until the end and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay my friends and here I am at my last step where I'm forming my last angle and what I do is that I here need one more yellow the same way symmetrically I added it here and I'm going backwards to add it here at this orange angle, okay? And what I need to do next is to reach guys here this green bead that is sticking out the most And I take an orange, an earring finding and an orange. And as I'm exiting from this green, I go back like this in circle. And what I'm going to do is to reinforce this joint here. Then I go through some beads in this direction. I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I want to go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my lacy autumn earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment. In this way, you motivate me to make more and more tutorials for you. Consider supporting me as a member. This comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.